Good morning all. This is uh, Mike Zero, India Kilo November, Bijoy. My name is Bijoy. Um, I'm, this video is about um, an interface cable from MFJ, which is used to interface an auto tuner to your radio. It's a warm and humid morning in Essex, England. Uh, my shock temperature is 24.7 degrees Charlie and 54% humidity. So coming to the business. <clears throat> so I managed to get, let me move this wires out. So I managed to get a MFJ Auto Tuner 993 Bravo. And uh, having seen some videos on YouTube, I came to know that there is an interface kit available. So managed to get it from a UK supplier. It costs me ninety pounds. MFJ five one two four Yankee. It's a Yesu interface cable. This thing comes for all other radios, Inter um, Icom, Kenwood, and Alinco and others. So in this box, when you open the box, you find this black box in it, and also a yellow pouch with another yellow pouch with another cable I'll, i've taken it out so i'll show you what it is so the cable that came with uh, in the yellow pouch is something like this it's got a connector like that and an eight pin connector this eight pin connector goes to the back of your radio uh, in my case it's a yesu 450 so there is a special port for tuners so it could this 8 pin connector goes there and let me take this uh, this black box it comes with uh, so some amount of wire the red and black one is for power and there is so you're supposed to give it appears that you're supposed to give power connection there that goes to the tuner and behind the tuner there is a port for this this black cable that comes out it's got a 3.5 mm jack so there is a place for this thing to go into the back of the tuner i'll show you the back of the tuner now so that's how it looks so you have the power there that's a remote port i'm not discussing this this is a place where that 3.5 mm jack goes and you have the rest of the connections at the back of the uh, the the cable that comes from the radio the 8 pin thing the other end uh, goes into the if I keep it on this white it may be a bit more clearer I'm sorry about this shake it goes there so one of the videos uh, which mentioned about uh, 993B being linked to a Yesu radio, well, they mentioned that we have to connect the power there and this red and black wire goes into the tuner and rest of the connections as I said. So let me connect it and instead of me talking, I think I better demo it there. So the power port goes there, the power cable from the black whatever you want to call it the interface box goes there the 3.5 mm connection goes it goes there and uh, this cable once I connect it I will so that is connected there and this eight pin connector, it goes behind my radio. So welcome back. So now this, I have done all the connections as it was supposed to be done. The power cord is connected from an external 12 volt supply. This is the cable that comes from the back of the radio. Um, the red power here, it goes into the tuner and 
there is a black cable going there that goes to the that's a three point it's got the 3.5 mm jack at the other end that again goes to the tuna now after all this uh, I read in the thing uh, um, the tuner has to be turned on first so uh, according to the manual uh, the tuner has to be powered first so I'm powering the, the tuner and what happens what you see is there is that keeps the need the cross needle keeps bouncing and the digital screen uh, it tells to turn on the radio okay so get to the radio and I turn it on so if everything is okay the tuner icon over there that should have been working and it doesn't detect the radio when the radio is on the tuner is supposed to uh, understand the radio is connected to it but that is not seem to be happening now here starts the problem uh, I try to get into the manual it's not it is not mentioned anything only thing it was mentioned was there is a table which shows uh, uh, there's a set of jumpers inside this black box which uh, yeah so there is a table here given in the manual which uh, which tells that the two uh, two jumpers are jumper 1 and jumper 2 and for ESU 450 JP1 should be at Bravo JP2 at Alpha so I have kept this box open and I checked that and that was all correct that is JP1 which is in Bravo and this is JP2 which is in Alpha it's all connected uh, I didn't have a clue what to do now I thought okay let's do different combinations so I just assumed that the interface cable from radio I saw the diagram it is sending 13.8 volt into the box and there is also a 12 point uh, 12 volt coming in it which won't be needed I just assumed that so I disconnected that still no change so now the supply which is coming into this box through this the 13.8 it is going out through this and I assumed it also goes out through the 3.5 mm jack uh, so first I took the power supply out so the when the power supply the red and black cable the whole tuner goes off so I'll put that back in tuner is back and this time I'm going to remove the 3.5 mm jack out and then there it is now the needle cross needle bouncing has stopped back and it is showing some numbers there which is not telling turn on the radio that means I assume that it has uh, recognized the radio and on the radio screen you see that the tuner icon has come there and before we connect I forgot to mention before we connect it's mentioned in the manual we have to go into the menu settings of this pressing this F button and change from internal tuner to the external tuner so I've done all that but still I had problem but now it's done so the solution is when you get a box like this um, you don't need an external power supply that goes out and among these two connections you don't need the 3.5 mm jack to be connected so I'm, I'll be coiling that up and keeping it somewhere so that is also pulled out so now it works fine <coughs> sorry now my radio is at 14.114 uh, megahertz and uh, let me just give it a tune so I'll press the tune there and let's see what happens here and that's it 
14.115 megahertz with an SWR of 2, forward 11 and reverse 1.2 and that is a frequency there 114.88 they have taken it to 115 megahertz so that's how it works um, I couldn't find anything written about this they should have they made a 24 page booklet these things should have been mentioned a bit more uh, in a simple language or uh, well I couldn't find this written anywhere the proper connection about this I tried everywhere I couldn't get anything there's no video about it so I assume that this video of mine should be useful for people who buy this kit um, the MFJ 5124Y thank you this is uh, M0 IKN signing off see you again sometime in a, my next video bye